Welcome again to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We have wonderful information and wonderful things we always post on this channel for those who are lovers of knowledge, for those who are aspiring to know more, either as physics teachers or as students studying physics in secondary school and in the university. So please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And you can always send your questions to me on this channel, either as an undergraduate or a master's student in the university or a secondary school student. You are solving a problem in physics. It is giving you headache. Just forward it to me and I will break it down for you. That's what this channel is meant for. So don't forget to subscribe. So whenever we send important things and good things, uh, things that can help your academics in physics, you can always uh, benefit from it. Now let's quickly look at the electricity aspect of the uh, 2021 wide physics practical that is coming later this year on the 24th of September. Uh, later this month. Now. The instruction given by WAEC has uh, asked us to make available constant time wire zero, okay, zero to one ampere. We are also asked to make a, a two ohm standard resistor available and uh, some set of masses two 10 grams, two 20 grams, and two 50 grams. Sorry, uh, set of mass. Okay. I'm talking about electricity now. Two ohm standard resistor, constant town wire, uh, alcodite, ammeter 0 to 1 ampere, and uh, other materials for electricity, the block key, and uh, what have you. Now, going by the instructions or the materials that the wire has us to make at the room, uh, one can likely experiment. I have seen a lot of people who usually post because the materials that WAEC has access to do are what is needed for this experiment. Now, this particular experiment can be repeated three times between 1994 and date, until date. It has been repeated three times. This experiment came out in 1994. I think it came out in 2006, if I'm mistaken. It came out in 2013. I can't really remember those years now, but uh, we have had it three times. Exactly the same way. And I don't want to believe that WAEC is out of stock, uh, out of question, and uh, that's why they keep repeating this. But uh, what we do on this channel and in this video is to take you comments what you should expect, how it looks like, and other ones, uh, likely experiment, still based on the materials. So let's start with this. From the circuit, this is the EMF of the cell, the battery. From the positive terminal, a wire is connected to the positive terminal of the ammeter. And from the negative terminal of the ammeter, the wire goes to the resistor, the two ohms resistor. From the two other end of the two ohm resistor, you have another wire coming to one end of the clock key, and from the other end of the clock key, another wire goes to the body cell. Now we have two junctions here, there's a junction here, junction here. The constant term wire is connected, and at this junction, you have the proper dike. Now, this experiment tells us that, or this side diagram tells us that the constant term wire and the two ohm standard resistor are connected in parallel. That is very important to note. They are connected in parallel. And if they are connected in parallel, it therefore means that the, the ammeter reading here, because the ammeter is placed here, is going to measure the entire current in the circuit. The ammeter is not measuring the current through the constant term wire. The ammeter is not measuring the current flowing through the resistor. But the ammeter is measuring both the current flowing through the constant power wire and the resistor. Okay, and that is why you are likely going to have 
your readings are going beyond one ampere because the ammeter is taking a record of the entire current in the circuit. So that is very important. Now, also don't forget that the constantan wire and the resistor are connected in parallel. So if they are connected in parallel, they have the same potential difference, but they share the current. So and the one with the higher resistance takes the lower current, the one with the lower resistance takes the higher current. So if this setup is what will be given for the experiment, and you are plotting I against inverse of L, why is this so? And what are you expecting in such a, an experiment? Okay, so the current measured by the ammeter I is equal to the current flowing through the resistor, let's call it IR, plus the current flowing through the what? The constantan wire. Alright, now the current IR flowing through the resistor is equal to the EMF over the resistance of the resistor. So let R be the resistance of the resistor. And the current IC flowing through the contactor wire is equal to the EMF, don't forget they have the same EMF, over, let's say, RC, which is the resistance of the contactor wire. So if you substitute them back to this equation, you have I equals to E over R plus E over RC. Again, don't forget that the resistance of the constantan wire is equal to the resistivity of the constantan wire multiplied by the length of the constantan wire divided by the cross-sectional area. Okay? So, if you... Therefore, 1 over RC will give us A over the, resist, the resistivity multiplied by the length. So, put it back here, you have I equals to E over R plus A E over rho L. Okay? So don't forget, you are going to be plotting I against inverse of L. So let's rearrange this equation to look like a straight line equation. So that I will now be equal to A E over rho L plus E over R. Good. Alright? Now let me manage this side because I don't want to clean this diagram to complete what I have here. So, I can now rewrite this as I equals to AE over rho multiplied by 1 over L plus E over R. Okay? So, plotting uh, I against inverse of L, I against inverse of L. This equation shows that the graph is going to give us intercept. So on the vertical axis. So you have this. This is I, this is inverse of L. So you have this. Okay? Where the intercept on the vertical axis is, I see is E over R. And the slope of the graph will give us AE over the resistivity. So this is what you should expect. So this current I is not the current flowing through the resistor and it's not the one flowing through the constructor wire. It's the entire current, the total current in the circuit. And except you use uh, a 2 volt accumulator, your readings will definitely exceed, uh, will definitely exceed 1 ampere as you reduce the length of the constantan wire. The reason is because as you reduce the length of the constantan wire, the resistance of the constantan wire reduces. Okay? The resistance of the constantan wire reduces and the the total, uh, what was it called? Resistance in the circuit will also reduce. 
and you will expect the current to increase okay so because the resistance is reducing the current the total current in the circuit will be increasing and so as you reduce the length of the constant wire the current will be increasing and that is very important that is a trend we talked about in physics so the, the current will be increasing and so you are definitely going to have your current exceeding one ampere and the instruction has asked us to get zero to one ampere so and based on that i also think that you may not actually do this you know why because there are two reasons why i believe that this may not be what we are going to give us okay number one reason is because the standard weight gauge of the constantine wire to be used is not given so wire has deliberately allowed each screw or center to select their own constantan wire, the standard weight gauge of the constantan wire. Okay, which means you are going to have constantan wire of different resistivity and resistance and diameter. Okay, and that will definitely have effect on the experiment. Okay, secondly, uh, the another reason why I believe you uh, may not be doing this is because why has insisted that the, the the ammeter has to be zero to one ampere so meaning that they have tried the experiment and they found out that your read the maximum reading you can have is one or even less so you will be having difficulty in getting your readings if you are using a meter of zero to two or zero to three but with this experiment it's not possible to have your maximum current to be one ampere except you are using an accumulator and they have not insisted that we should all use accumulator meaning that they know that some centers will use dry cell therefore i concluded that this may not be the experiment if this is not the experiment what will now be the experiment before i go into that take a look at this circuit I've also seen this circuit somewhere uh, on the social media, but what you have in this circuit is not different from what you have in this circuit. Because the ammeter here is still measuring the total current in the circuit. The ammeter here is also still measuring the total current in the circuit. The constantan wire and the resistor are still connected in parallel. Here, the constantan wire and the resistor are also connected in parallel. So this circuit, this circuit, and this circuit they are the same. They will give you the same result. Exactly. Now let's look at the second uh, diagram. Uh, what is that second diagram? The second diagram is a situation where the ammeter is measuring the current flowing through the resistor. You can't measure the current flowing through the constantan wire because you will have to make use of the length of the constantan wire. Okay, so in the straight line equation, if you must measure the current flowing through the constantan wire, it means you have to know the total current flowing through the circuit. So I concluded that you are not going to be measuring the current flowing through the constantan wire, but